Hello, my name is Ant and you are watching Survive the Night and in this episode we are back out in the woodland and forest. We're doing a catch and cook, we've also got some brand new gear to show you and uh, we're just loving life. <laughs> There we go, that was nice and easy, weren't it? That's it, beautiful. we've run into a problem. These are a gazillion years old and they have seen better days. And the trouble that I've got, I can't get the inner out of the big pole out. It's tightened that much and I just cannot loosen it at all. Uh, not with the grip that I've got at the minute. And uh, I'm losing light as you can see. So we're gonna have to find something bushcrafty. I'm not setting everything up because I want to get that uh, that fish processed so that we can uh, get an evening meal because I'm starving. We can set that up later. So this is an amazing present off Matt Adventure he's made, and he surprised me with it on the on the trip we just had up into the lakes, and it's a lightweight stove. He knows I've been after, after one for quite some time and that one that I've got is great but it's heavy, it's 10 kilos 
and this weighs next to nothing it's like titanium it's got comes with its own flue and it just weighs well you can see i've carried the kit in it's, it's so much easier so on trips like this now i can bring a stove bring a hot tent i was going to bring the lavoo today but uh getting a little bit of a problem with the, the stove jack so um, I went with this option but we're still going to cook on it This is not the stealth bar. What nobody's about. While we wait for the stove to heat up, finally, we're getting comfy, we're relaxing a little bit now. Um, I'm not going to lie, bushcraft isn't easy, <laughs> and especially when I've not done it for quite some time. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty much overweight and knackered. <laughs> but it has been fun, it's been great, getting everything set up. And uh, what a beautiful woodland that I'm in. The river is just below me down there. I've come up, I've elevated myself and got out of the way. Because I wanted a, a bit of a decent night's sleep, to be honest with you. And I don't want the rushing water to affect that. So, yeah. The tea tonight. Well, this might fool you. Now, that looks like a craft ale. But it's not. It is. It's curry sauce, believe it or not. And uh, picked it up from Aldi for about two quid. So I don't know what it's like. I've never ever seen a curry sauce in a can before. It literally. So yeah, so we're gonna have that tonight. And it's coconut and it goes with fish. So as you can as you have seen, I have filleted the, the catch tonight. And um, yeah, we're gonna have that with some coconut rice and this curry sauce, and it should be really tasty. So uh, yeah. Thank you so much fish and uh, yeah it should be should be really nice fingers crossed.
once again. Thank you, Sai, for the awesome knife. That has done the job tonight. Filleted, filleted the fish. Um, they're being used as a spatula. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at this curry sauce. <laughs> Maybe even open it. I just want to like a craft day. Look at that. Oh, that's a smell. There's a bay leaf in it and everything there. Oh, that smells good. Oh my word. Oh my gosh, look at that. How good is that? Oh, nice. Oh. I reckon tea is ready. <laughs> Let's have a see. Oh, it's certainly cooked it. Oh my word, look at that. Friday night curry. Let's give it a try. Should be very coconutty. Mmm, very coconut. Oh yeah. Mmm. Try the trout. Oh, there's a nice big piece of trout there. Mmm. Mmm. Getting his own back. Bones. Right, well that is pretty much us. That is night over with. It is now, can you believe it, 11 o'clock. It took so long to uh, to get everything set up, and uh, that's the thing with bushcraft, isn't it? You know, it's it's time consuming, but it's very enjoyable if you're into this kind of uh, kind of thing, outdoor activity, which I am. I really enjoy it, <laughs> especially after a day's work as well. <laughs> but yeah, I have uh, I have really really gone back to my roots on this one. And it's been uh, it's been good so yeah pretty much that is it I'm gonna hunker down now I've turned the stove off I've shut everything down as you can hear it's hissing now because the rain is coming down and we're gonna get zipped up here and spend the night hopefully nice and toasty warm I've got the three seasons sleeping bag out because we are in spring now and it has been glorious weather this week but unfortunately we are hitting a bit of a rain spell yet again on bank holiday weekend but uh, yeah well, I'm sure we'll be okay I'm in if you guys are wondering what what tent I'm in I'm actually in the uh, Batwood bungalow uh, the White Hills version and uh, yeah I really enjoy this uh, this tent doesn't often get a, a run out but when it does it's uh, it's a fun tent to be in it's come on a few um, a few trips with me. It's been on the Lock Shield circuit, and um, we've done some more camps in it. So it is a good tent, very wide open space, and uh, I like the front where you can just shelter from the rain. As you as you can hear, you can hear it now hitting the the top of it. Oh, I don't know what time it is. 
I'm not, I'm not. Oh, it's heavy rain and I'm getting rained on. So the, uh, the tent is leaking along the ridge line, I think. Over the top of the tent. I'm just getting splashed all the time. So I'm getting no sleep. Let's have a see. See if we can see where it's coming from. Oh, wow. You can't see it. Oh, you see that with the uh, drop man around that area where that hook is. That's where it's coming in. Oh, yeah. <sighs> not getting much sleep guys at all oh, man look oh, hey I'm just going to cover myself up in that and try and get some kit What a wet night, absolutely threw it down all night long and I can safely say there are a few leak holes in the uh, the White Hills tent so uh, yeah we're going to have to get that seam sealed I think and that's the only that's the only issue, there's no holes as such but yeah it was a little bit wet, kept getting woke up with rips on the head <laughs> So you can see it's dried up a little bit and uh, the birds are in song, it sounds beautiful. Woke up around about half four to this and uh, yeah, we love summertime don't we? Well spring, these uh, these light mornings and, uh, and light nights are great. So we'll get some breakfast on now and we'll make a brew and uh, pack down. And what a special brew it's going to be today. I've got some new gear to show you. And I am super impressed with this company. It's Fire Maple. And uh, they got in touch. They said, Ant, do you fancy doing a bit of a, a review? And um, I chose this. I needed a new kettle because mine... For some reason, a split underneath and started leaking. So uh, I jumped at the chance when I saw this on the website, which is uh, the Fire Maple uh, One Litre Kettle. And it's a stainless steel kettle and also a nice little Prezi inside as well, which is this. If I can get it out. <laughs> no. I cannot wait to try this out. And this is a uh, coffee filter. Same again, fire maple. And all you do is open those wings up like that and pop it onto your cup. Pop your hot your uh, your coffee in there, hot water over the top, and just let it seep into your cup. Cannot wait. It's gonna be the best coffee. <laughs> So both products come with a bag, it's just a pull up tie bag and it's got a nice little uh, fire maple emblem on it but I just want to say the packaging is really something else guys, the boxing is, you, you can tell that it's quality, you can tell it's quality anyway just by looking at it, um, it's lightweight as well, both stainless steel and it's just the job for what I need, especially in the morning, that first brew.
what it's got. It's got a little lock just on there. So once you've uh, you've popped the lid on with the water in, you lift the handle up. That's ready to pour now. That won't fall off due to that lock. Oh, that's strong coffee. That is perfect for a morning. <laughs> mm, that's like a triple espresso. <laughs> that'll get me going. That'll kickstart it. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. Oh, nice. So, there will be a link below in the description for, um, for you to pop down and have a look at the kettle itself and also the filter. Please have a look at it and have a look at all the other gear on the, the fire maple website because there is a lot and it is quality gear every single bit of it is quality packaging through to customer service right through to the the item itself so i've left the link below in the description for the fire maple kettle and also the filter there is also you'll see a discount code there as well which is ant 10 so if you purchase anything from the Fire Maple website, it doesn't have to be the kettle and the filter, it can be anything of your choice. Uh, you get to the checkout, you pop the Ant 10 discount code in, and there you go, you get a bit of a discount there. So yeah, let us know what you get.